Salbutamol, also known as albuterol and marketed as Ventolin among other names, is a medication that opens up the medium and large airways in the lungs. It is used to treat asthma including asthma attacks, exercise-induced bronchoconstriction, and chronic obstructive pulmonary disease COPD. It may also be used to treat high blood potassium levels. Salbutamol is usually used with an inhaler or nebulizer but is also available as a pill and intravenous solution. Onset of action of the inhaled version is typically within 15 minutes and lasts for 2 to 6 hours. Common side effects include shakiness, headache, fast heart rate, dizziness, and feeling anxious. Serious side effects may include worsening bronchospasm, irregular heartbeat, and low blood potassium levels. It can be used during pregnancy and breastfeeding, but safety is not entirely clear. It is a short-acting beta-2 adrenergic receptor agonist which works by causing airway smooth muscles to relax. Salbutamol was first made in 1967 in Britain and became commercially available in the UK in 1969. It was approved for medical use in the United States in 1982. It is on the World Health Organization. S list of essential medicines, the most effective and safe medicines needed in a health system. Salbutamol is available as a generic medication. The wholesale cost in the developing world of an inhaler which contains 200 doses is between $1.12 and $2.64 as of 2014. In the United States, it is between $25 and $50 for a typical month. S supply. Medical uses. Salbutamol is typically used to treat bronchospasm due to any cause, allergic asthma or exercise induced, as well as chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It is also one of the most common medicines used in rescue inhalers, short-term bronchodilators to alleviate asthma attacks. As a beta-2 agonist, salbutamol also has use in obstetrics. Intravenous salbutamol can be used as a tocolytic to relax the uterine smooth muscle to delay premature labor. While preferred over agents such as atosibin and ritodrine, its role has largely been replaced by the calcium channel blocker nifedipine, which is more effective, better tolerated, and administered orally. Salbutamol has been used to treat acute hyperkalemia, as it stimulates potassium flow into cells, thus lowering the potassium in the blood. Adverse effects the most common side effects are fine tremor, anxiety, headache, muscle cramps, dry mouth, and palpitation. Other symptoms may include tachycardia, arrhythmia, flushing of the skin, myocardial ischemia rare, and disturbances of sleep and behavior. Rarely occurring, but of importance, are allergic reactions of paradoxical bronchospasms, urticaria hives, angioedema, hypotension, and collapse. High doses or prolonged use may cause hypokalemia, which is of concern especially in patients with renal failure and those on certain diuretics and xanthine derivatives. Pharmacology The tertiary butyl group in salbutamol makes it more selective for beta-2 receptors, which are the predominant receptors on the bronchial smooth muscles. Activation of these receptors causes adenyl cyclase to convert ATP to CAMP, beginning the signaling cascade that ends with the inhibition of myosin phosphorylation and lowering the intracellular concentration of calcium ions. Myosin phosphorylation and calcium ions are necessary for muscle contractions. The increase in CAMP also inhibits inflammatory cells in the airway, such as basophils, eosinophils, and most especially mast cells, from releasing inflammatory mediators and cytokines. Salbutamol and other beta-2 receptor agonists also increase the conductance of channels sensitive to calcium and potassium ions, leading to hyperpolarization and relaxation of bronchial smooth muscles. Salbutamol is either filtered out by the kidneys directly or is first metabolized into 4-O-sulfate, which is excreted in the urine. Chemistry structure and activity salbutamol is sold as a racemic mixture. The R enantiomer CIP nomenclature, is shown in the image at right top, and is responsible for the pharmacologic activity. The S enantiomer bottom, blocks metabolic pathways associated with elimination of itself and of the pharmacologically active enantiomer R. The slower metabolism of the S enantiomer also causes it to accumulate in the lungs, which can cause airway hyperreactivity and inflammation. 
History Salbutamol was discovered in 1966 by a team led by David Jack at the Allen and Hanbury's Laboratory, a subsidiary of Glaxo, in Ware, Hertfordshire, England, and was launched as Ventolin in 1969. The 1972 Munich Olympics were the first Olympics where anti doping measures were deployed, and at that time, beta 2 agonists were considered to be stimulants with high risk of abuse for doping. Inhaled salbutamol was banned from those games, but by 1986 was permitted, although oral beta-2 agonists were not. After a steep rise in the number of athletes taking beta-2 agonists for asthma in the 1990s, Olympic athletes were required to provide proof that they had asthma in order be allowed to use inhaled beta-2 agonists. Society and culture cost the wholesale cost of a 200-dose inhaler is between $1.12 and $2.64 in the developing world as of 2014 and GB one pound and 50 pence in the United Kingdom as of 2015. In the United States, a typical month's supply is between $25 and $50. Named salbutamol is the N international non-proprietary name, while albuterol is the USAN United States adopted name. The drug is usually manufactured and distributed as the sulfate salt, salbutamol sulfate. It was first sold by Allen and Hanbury's UK under the brand name Ventolin, and has been used for the treatment of asthma ever since. The drug is marketed under many names worldwide. Doping as of 2011 There was no evidence that an increase in physical performance occurs after inhaling salbutamol, but various reports for benefit when delivered orally or intravenously. In spite of this, salbutamol required a declaration of use in accordance with the International Standard for Therapeutic Use Exemptions under the 2010 WADA prohibited list. This requirement was relaxed when the 2011 list was published to permit the use of salbutamol, maximum 1,600 micrograms over 24 hours, and salmeterol when taken by inhalation in accordance with the manufacturer's recommended therapeutic regimen. Abuse of the drug may be confirmed by detection of its presence in plasma or urine, typically exceeding 1,000 nanograms per milliliter. The window of detection for urine testing is on the order of just 24 hours, given the relatively short elimination half-life of the drug, estimated at between 5 and 6 hours following oral administration of 4 mg. Research salbutamol has been studied in subtypes of congenital myasthenic syndrome associated with mutations in DOK7. It has also been tested in a trial aimed at treatment of spinal muscular atrophy. It is speculated to modulate the alternative splicing of the SMN2 gene, increasing the amount of the SMN protein whose deficiency is regarded as a cause of the disease. Veterinary use Salbutamol's low toxicity makes it safe for other animals and thus is the medication of choice for treating acute airway obstruction in most species. It is usually used to treat bronchospasm or coughs in cats and dogs and used as a bronchodilator in horses with recurrent airway obstruction. It can also be used in emergencies to treat asthmatic cats. Toxic effects require an extremely high dose, and most overdoses are due to dogs chewing on and puncturing an inhaler or nebulizer vial. See also Levisalbutamol, the R enantiomer, Ipratropium, salbutamol, Salmeterol, Isoprenolin. References External links U.S. National Library of Medicine, Drug Information Portal, Albuterol Salbutamol at the Periodic Table of Videos